hey guys what's up so in this video we will have a look at a very important concept when we talk about inheritance in Ruby and that is super so super is a method which gets called sometimes in Ruby so in this tutorial we will understand what does super do and how can we use super so basically what is the functionality of super so many a times when the, you have a class and then you have another class which you inherit from your previous class then when in the child class you override some method uh, defined in the parent class and you think that okay I'm going to override this method but I'm not going to change the way it is uh, it was defined in the parent method I'm just going to do something extra okay so you will do that something extra and then somehow you will call the method defined in the parent the same method defined in the parent so for those scenarios we use super in ruby so if we look at an example and then that way it will be more clear so let us open our test.rv so here you can see that i have a animal class and i have defined one method say hi which prints hi and then here i have created one instance of animal and i am calling say underscore hi method on that instance so what i'll do is that first i'll create a child class of animal and as usual tiger tiger is my favorite animal it is inheriting from animal and okay so that is my tiger class now what I'll do is that tiger says okay I'm going to change the behavior animals used to do I mean my parent used to say hi means hi but I'm not going to say hi I'm going to scare people that will be the extra functionality I will um, add to my character my personality so that I can impress other people so here tiger says I will say hi but I will also scare so it says I will put grrr. okay but it says that I will also stick to my roots roots so I will show that okay I am animal I am saying hi but by saying grrr, I will also prove that I am a tiger so it says uh, I'm going to say hi also so here I'm not going to write puts hi I'm just going to write super okay so what does super do here the moment you put super inside any method then your class will look towards its parents okay have you defined the same method here in our case it is say underscore hi if you have defined this method then I am going to execute this method the way you have defined so tiger will look towards animal and will ask have you defined say underscore hi animal will say yes I have defined and this is the way I have defined then tiger will say okay I'm going to execute it by your way so when you write super all these things happen super will execute the same method say underscore high from where you have called it the way it has been defined in the parent so now if instead of creating an instance of animal I create an instance of tiger and I call say underscore high method over that then what will happen it will execute say underscore high defined in tiger method so by executing it will first execute this line so it should print grrr and after that it will execute this super call so super is like looking towards your parent and acting the same way your parents have been acting so here it will go to the implementation of same method inside the parent class and it will execute that also so it will print high as well okay so let's run this file ruby test.rb so yeah so first you, you printed grr and then you printed high because that was the way it was defined in your parent now we will look at another complexity sometimes your methods have arguments like here say underscore high will have an argument I'm naming that argument as X and what it uh, what it does is like whenever you call say underscore high and give an argument then instead of printing just high it will also print high and then that argument okay so 
writing inside curly braces followed by this hash means whatever value is there x it will get evaluated here so this whole part will be replaced by the value of x inside this string so it will become one string it will be there will be high space and then the value of x instead of all this expression same way I'm also going to define the same method inside the child class and here it will also say okay I'm also going to print x after my girl now should I run this file here you can see that same disk height takes one argument and which it prints just after high tiger implementation of same disk high also takes one argument of course because this is overriding the method and then it prints gur and x then after that it calls super super is like calling the same method inside the parent class and you can see here that inside parent it takes one argument but here you are calling parent method but you are not giving any argument is it wrong it's actually correct so whenever you are calling super and you do not give any argument then what will happen is that it will take all the arguments that were provided to this method method the method that is containing super so here if you just call super then it will take x as its argument and then it will go to the parent so now if I run this file wrong number of arguments 0 1 line number 8 so what is the problem here what is line number 8 mm -hmm. okay yeah the problem is here you are calling say underscore high but you are not giving any argument because here in our definition of method it is expecting one argument so that is why we have this error wrong number of arguments so we are going to give this method call an argument because it is expecting an argument and the person whom this tiger is saying hi is actually a human actually we should give it a name John now let us run our file yes so first it will print grr and then the string which is John here grr John I'm going to eat you and then it says super and it didn't give any argument to super so what happens here it will take the argument that was given to this method John and it will take John along with itself to the parent implementation which is the implementation in animal class and then again here it will say hi John okay now this time just to prove my point that Ruby gives you the flexibility so whether you give the argument to super or you don't give it to the argument here what you will do is that you will specifically give it some argument okay yeah I'm gi giving the argument David okay so now since you, ha you have already given the argument to super method it will not take this argument which you have given here it has its own argument set so it will take that and then it will go to the implementation in the parent class so now let us res run this file yes so here it says grr john john who the argument that was given to the method call but here he says hi david why hi david because David is the argument given to the super okay so this is the way we actually use super method in our Ruby programming so this is a very important concept hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye